Right, what would you do if you saw your friend's name on a list of people killed by heroin? Well, that's what one woman says happened to her. She says she felt exploited for a fundraiser and she wants some answers. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell went to work to find out how that happened. I am the one and only Caitlin Riffenberg. Caitlin Riffenberg says her name is unique, so when a friend called saying her name was on a t-shirt that appeared to list those killed by heroin, she was shocked. My heart goes out to the families of people who suffer with addiction or people who have passed away from addiction, of course, but do I suffer from addiction and am I passed away? No. She was also angry for that friend, Lindsay Schreiner, who also found the name of her brother, who died two years ago, on that shirt. She says some people think he overdosed, but his family does not. He was not addicted at all. And not only that, my family has to deal with every day we relive, you know, the day that he passed away. As is so often the case, there are two sides to this story. I sat down with Dina from Dina's Family Restaurant in Monroe, the woman who made the t-shirts. The first name on the t-shirt is my boy. His name is Ray Kelly Parado. Sorry. And he died from a heroin addiction. Dina says the shirt raised money for a charity called Ryan's Hope Foundation. It will pay for three people to go to rehab. So where does she get these names? She says at a fundraiser, the foundation asked people to write the names of loved ones who died on a car. She then printed them on the shirt. Caitlin says there must have been some misunderstanding. She signed that car to show support for a loved one who died. I didn't want my name on a shirt, you know, that had that meaning behind it. I really didn't mean for anyone to get hurt. I really did not mean for it to hurt anybody's feelings. In the end, the owner of Dina's Family Restaurant is asking for forgiveness. She burned the shirts and is working to find a new way to raise awareness. Help is needed in the fight against addiction. In Monroe, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.